This pond here used to stay full of water. In the past few years, Georgia has seen extreme droughts that have, for the first time in history, threatened the livelihood of many businesses and individuals in the state. Yet, in a time when citizens and local governments are banding together to conserve Georgia's precious water resources, a group of electricity cooperatives called Power for Georgians have proposed a new coal-fired power plant in Sandersville. If built, Plant Washington will use up to 16 million gallons of water a day, much from our aquifers and rivers that supply drinking water to wells and to our crops. In Washington County and along the Oconee River, residents already face critical water issues. The water level of the Oconee has a tremendous effect on our business. If the water goes down and it gets to the point that our fishermen, our boaters cannot cross the river, or go down the river, or up the river, except in pockets and in places, uh, we're going to lose a lot of the revenue from the business because we can't sell bait, we can't sell tackle. Well, the river right now is at its lowest point. It's been in, I, I mean, I've been down here for 20-something years. I ain't never seen it this low. It doesn't have to be this way. Why are other states saying no to coal? Florida. Kansas said no to coal because of health reasons. So why does Georgia continue to stay on this path, and it's a destructive path, and you know it is. Well, then we need to consider other options. Okay, and we have. I, I don't think we fully explore. Why should we be last? The amount of water that they're talking about taking out of the ground to uh, run this coal plant, 16 million gallons a day, it, it, there's just not that much water there. There are ways to address our power demand while conserving our water resources and our way of life. We can save money and waste less with energy efficiency while the sun, the wind, and bioenergy resources from our farms and forests provide energy and protect our precious water resources. Speak up now before it's too late. Say no to Plant Washington and yes to clean energy. To take action, visit Southern Alliance for Clean Energy's website at cleanenergy.org. Or for more information, call 404-373-5832. That's 404-373-5832.